Governor Dayton and the Republican legislative leaders have finally agreed on how to balance the Minnesota state budget. They'll spend $35.4 billion over the next two years. That's $1.4 billion more than the state expects to take in during that time. And lawmakers didn't raise taxes to make up the difference. So how'd they do it? They planned to borrow the money. Unlike the federal government, Minnesota can't just run a deficit. The state constitution says the budget has to balance every two years. But there are still ways for the state to borrow money. It just takes a little creativity. Dayton and the GOP agreed on two creative solutions. The first is called the school shift. Every school district in the state gets a big chunk of state money each year based on how many students it has. But the money doesn't come in one lump sum. Because of some creative accounting in the last budget, the schools get about 70% of their money during the school year, and they get the last 30% the following year. That temporarily makes the state budget look better because the final payment gets pushed into the next two-year budget. But it also forces the schools to cover their expenses some other way, usually by borrowing, borrowing money. The new budget deal uses that same trick again. But now, instead of delaying 30% of the money, they're going to delay 40%. And schools will need to make up the difference by, once again, borrowing, borrowing money. money. The state will help cover the interest payments by giving schools a little extra money per student. But at some point, the state promises to pay back the principal, too. And that will make future state budgets harder to balance. So the school shift saves the state about $700 million over the next two years. And lawmakers came up with a second creative solution that brings in another $700 million. They're selling tobacco bonds. What are those? In 1998, Minnesota won a huge legal settlement from a group of tobacco companies. As a result, those companies send Minnesota more than $300 million every two years. Because that's such a dependable income stream for Minnesota, the state can use it as collateral to, you guessed it, borrow, borrow money. money. Investors will give Minnesota cash right now to help balance the current state budget. But in future years, the state will have to use some of that dependable tobacco income to pay the investors back with, with interest. interest. So, just like the school shift, the tobacco bonds make the current budget look better. But they'll make future budgets harder to balance. <laughs>